Good morning, everybody, and welcome to an update on sev today's severe weather threat. So the Storm Prediction Center has issued an enhanced risk for severe weather today across um, uh, central and southern Oklahoma, northwest Texas in the eastern Texas panhandle in the orange, a slight risk in the yellow, marginal risk in the dark green. There's also a marginal risk across areas of the southeast today. And um, we got a pretty serious tornado threat today. The Storm Prediction Center has issued a 10% chance for tornadoes within 25 miles of a location in this yellow region across central southern Oklahoma, including the cities of Wichita Falls, Texas, Fort Sill, Oklahoma City, and Norman, Oklahoma. A 5% chance in the brown, a 2% chance in the green. And there's a hatched area today, which signifies the possibility of EF2 to EF5 tornadoes within 25 miles per, of a location, um, a 10% chance. So really pay attention to any tornado warnings that are issued if you live in this yellow hatched area today. Now taking a look at today's damaging wind threat, there's a 30% chance of damaging winds of 58 miles per hour or stronger within 25 miles of a location if you live in this red area across South Central Oklahoma and North Central Texas today, a 15% chance in the yellow and a 5% chance in the brown. Also a 5% chance across the Southeast today. And um, once again, we could be looking at some serious hail today where the Storm Prediction Center has issued a 30% chance of quarter size hail or larger within 25 miles of a location in the red region a 15% chance in the yellow region, 5% chance in the brown region, and we have a large area in a hatched region for hail today. And if you live in this hatched area, look out because you have a 10% chance or greater of seeing 2 inch in diameter hail today, or Hennig or larger. And I do believe that once again, uh, any uh, supercells that get going could produce a baseball to softball size hail anywhere in this hatched area today. But particularly, I'm concerned about areas uh, in the northwest portion of the hatched area, uh, eastern Texas Panhandle, southwest Oklahoma, I think have the highest chance of seeing uh, possible gorilla hail today. Now, timing out the event, Beginning at around 4 o'clock this afternoon, uh, we're likely going to see some uh, uh, supercells initiate east of the Amarillo area, possibly some uh, down towards west central Texas as well. And these are going to be more uncertain, but we could even see a few supercells develop southwest of the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex this afternoon. Going into 5 and 6 p.m., the supercells are really going to explode across uh, areas of northwest Texas and southwest Oklahoma and possibly into west central Texas as well. And uh, we could be seeing gargantuan hail with these supercells across eastern Texas panhandle, southwestern Oklahoma, looking at some of these reflectivities um, approaching 6570 DVZ. This could signify hail up to baseball size, so really be careful for hail if you live in this general area today. Going into 7, 8 p.m., the storms are going to quickly merge into a mesoscale convective system, and this uh, will start to produce some widespread straight-line damaging winds into the late evening and overnight hours. Uh, I mean, we could be seeing wind gusts of up to 75 miles per hour, I think, especially across central, southern, east, uh, central, eastern Oklahoma into possibly western Arkansas. And then um, as we head to the morning, we're going to have a second MCS develop across south central Oklahoma, north central Texas, and swing across Arkansas and east Texas. And that's going to lead into tomorrow's severe threat, which I'm going to talk about tomorrow morning. Now, another threat that I believe is going to be uh, likely is going to be a flooding threat. 
where air, uh, areas across Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, western Arkansas are projected to get widespread rainfall totals of 2 to 5 inches with isolated areas up to 6 to 7 inches between this afternoon or actually between yeah this afternoon and tomorrow afternoon so we're looking at uh, pretty excessive rainfall across much of Oklahoma southeast Kansas southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas between today and tomorrow so I do believe the flash flooding threat will be pretty substantial anyway thanks for watching my severe weather update make sure you are prepared if any tornado warnings are issued, get into a storm cellar, basement, or interior room. Uh, thanks for watching and stay safe, my friends.